Hi there, and welcome to our first video tutorial with My Memory Suite version 4. Version 4 is the latest edition of My Memory Suite and is available now at MyMemories.com. I'm Lisa, and I help host the Facebook page and blog at My Memories, and today I'd like to share one of my favorite new features in version 4. It's the ripped edge feature that's now available in the Photos tab, and this fun feature gives your photos or background papers that ripped edge appearance that's popular with both paper and digital scrapbookers. Using this feature is super simple and takes just a couple of quick steps, and I'm going to walk through those now so you know just how to do it. Now, if you wanted to add a background paper and use the ripped edge feature, what you're going to need to do is go to the background papers option, or you can pull things off the uh, resource gallery here as well. Just make sure that you click to add as a photo object. I'm going to go through the steps over here from the control panel just so you can see from this direction how you would do it. Go under the uh, purchased or custom option, wouldn't matter which. I'm going to pull up, I've already got this selected. This is one of the brand new templates that comes included in your new My Memory Suite version 4 download, and it's called Back to School, and it's from Mystica Designs. I'm going to just choose this red paper, and I'm going to choose to add as a photo object. Now, if you just clicked OK, that would add it as a background paper, which snaps it to the back layer of your project and will not be available to use as the ripped edge option. So I'm going to go ahead and add it as a photo object so that I have that option available. As soon as it pops up here, I'm going to enlarge it just a little bit just so that we can see um, clearly. And what you'll notice is because I added it as a photo object, or even if I'm on the left-hand side resource gallery and click to add as a photo object, the Photos tab will automatically pop open so you'll see all the tools that are available to work with as a photo in your project. Down here at the, uh, at the lower corner, you'll see this new RIP button. Um, there's a couple of new buttons in the Photos tab, and we'll talk about each of those in a different tutorial. But for this option, uh, we're going to just choose the RIP button. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the RIP button. And what that will do is bring up a paper RIP interface that will allow me to choose one or all four sides of the uh, paper that I've added to add this new uh, technique to. So I'm going to click on, and it will show you a little bit about what the, um, what the RIP is going to look like. Or if I click on, there are several different rips and uh, randomly will be chosen. So you can um, add it to more than one side of your paper and get a very different look depending on what you were choosing. I'm going to add it to all four sides. What you can also do is shrink down how much of the paper is showing so that it's really a cool way to add like some paper strips to your layout. So you can just slide that back and forth to add either uh, a full width or any section thereof. You can also change the rip uh, with yourself down here at the bottom with the sliders down at the bottom where it's uh, indicated down here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And now you'll see that I have a nice ripped edge on all four sides of this image. I can still add shadows with no problem. That will give us that little bit more depth um, and dimension to our page. Or you can go back and um, remove it from any of the sides so that you have just the rip on one side if you'd like to try and see what that looks like. So there you go, that's pretty simple. And what I'm also going to show you is how you can do that to a photograph. So I'm gonna go over to my Photos tab over here on the Resource Gallery. And I'm going to choose one picture that we took at Thanksgiving. This is my adorable little nephew, Wesley, cute as can be. And uh, I'm going to add the RIP feature to a couple of sides of his picture. Now you'll see that it's, um, got just a little bit of rip edge here and like I said you can adjust the uh, depth of the rip so that you get a little bit more pronounced edge and you can also still add a shadow with no problem so it gives you a little bit more dimension to your page. We can also go back and rip the top and then you've got it on all the sides that you wanted to, in to include. There you go. And what's kind of cool is you can also do that um, do that with the uh, background papers as well, and you can get a couple of different. Um, oh, I forgot to check this. A couple of different looks by adding um, stacked images and stacked papers. So if I were to do the rip feature and just do on this side and give it a real pronounced look, there we go, and then send it to the back. 
it gives us a nice way to add some dimension to the mats that we have on our papers too. So, so it's a really cool feature and you can have a lot of fun playing around with it. Or if you just wanted to add strips of your paper, it's very easy to go ahead and uh, take that down and then you've got just a strip to uh, add to the back. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with that. Remember that you can use it on any file that imports as a JPEG image or anything that you pull in as a background paper or a, um, a photograph in your program. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at lisaj at mymemories.com and watch for more new tutorial features that we're going to do um, to highlight each of the new functions and features of My Memory Suite version 4. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me directly at lisaj at mymemories.com. Check out our website at mymemories.com and our blog page for all kinds of fun things that we have going on there. Um, if you're not a fan already of our Facebook page, be sure to check that out as well. We have all kinds of great um, projects and uh, tutorials and giveaways and all kinds of fun things like that on Facebook, so be sure to check us out there. Um, if there's nothing else to cover today, I will move on and get you right back to your regularly scheduled day. Enjoy this new feature and watch for more tutorials to come. Don't forget to make a memory today.